She was one of the biggest comedians and greatest comedians of the silver screen, spending at least 60 years in film and even television. An icon during the 1950s and even around the world, working with notable actors and actresses within Hollywood. Her legacy would inspire more actors and actresses on the small screen to get to meet and even able to become um, big comedians um, themselves on on various television sets and even um, in streaming platforms. Award-winning and even becoming America's national treasure at the same time. She was the legendary Lucille Ball and this is her basic biography. Early life, Lucille Ball was born in New York, United States on the 6th of August 1911. She was born to a father who was a telecommunications engineer for Bell Telecoms, and her mother was a homemaker. They lived in Jamestown with her brother, and even spent time in New York, and had um, been able to stay active of, um, in the community of Jamestown, with her parents being able to take part in events, and even becoming part of the uh, Baptist Church there. She managed to go to school and get an education, then working in various um, jobs whilst at school. Her father would sadly pass away when she was, a y was young, and this was during the mid-1910s or the uh, 1920s, making her live with her grandparents afterwards. Her mother would be remarried again, and having her brother move in with them both. Her grandparents would move from Jamestown due to having legal troubles, basically with their neighbours. Later on, she would be uh, having an interest in acting and even working on stage with various uh, theatre productions and even spending time in theme parks where she was able to perform on stages as being a comedic actor or even acting in various type of uh, genres on stage. She would sometimes work, with, um, odd, work in odd jobs and even help um, sustaining a career before becoming an actor or an actress, sorry. Once she was an, uh, old enough, she would manage to perform in New York City, as this would help her being a recognisable lead and a chance to lead in, uh, as an actress on Broadway, with most of her performances being, again, comedy and sometimes in drama. Acting career She would become an actress in the 1920s and ha with a chance of ha uh, being a model as well as growing up in this decade um, being uh, able to have a modelling career. Spending time in acting schools and perfecting her acting skills that she would be having time to sp uh, use on small stage appearances when she was younger and even implementing her odd jobs whilst growing up in New York. She spent time in New York City, however, as an um, actress with her acting career and her um, modeling career help uh, making um, income for her to live whilst in the city. In New York City, she still was able to work her various jobs instead of pursuing an acting career at the, at the time. This was due to um, trying to gain more experience to become a lead on stage. However, touring with other stage groups and even making herself known as a fellow actress, as well as a lead actress later on. Once she finished with the acting or the stage groups she was with, she was able to keep her career as a model, for, um, but for smaller companies, and even promoting products based on popular items. Yet her big break would be in the 1930s rather than the 1920s, when Hollywood was looking for a young, younger actress to play in films that were linked to comedies, musicals, and even dramas based on popular demand. Hollywood executives were, were able to find her a job in cinema by working as an uh, extra, but not a lead actress, uh, that she wanted to be. Her first film appearance, or major film appearance in the film industry, was in the 1933 film called The Bowery, and then starring in more films straight on after this one. Comedic Legend of the Small Screen Lucille Wall was now a Hollywood actress during the 1930s and would appear in movies as an extra or a guest appearance. She would star in comedies and even dramas with herself trying to get 
better each time of each film that was released. Hollywood was able to give her a contract for movies based on her as a lead or a supporting cast role due to her beauty and even being recognised as one of the best models of that particular decade, even her modelling uh, being a model in her previous career. She starred in her first lead film called The Affairs of Annabelle in 1938, where she co-starred with Jackie Oki and would continue to act in um, in this manner throughout the decade, then starring in movies in the following decade. The 1950s and 40s saw her become a more of a comedic actress and one of the best female comedians at, at the time. She starred in movies with Abbott and Costello in Hollywood in the, in 1945 with the comedy with the comedy duo themselves and even her play her playing as herself. She starred in dramas with Henry Ford and then with William Holden. She was able to star with many Hollywood heavyweights based on her, um, being an icon in comedy, with a chance to further her career in movie in more movies and now radio as she performed in many radio productions at the time, and being one of the best with all audiences around the world listening to her comedic skits or jokes. In the 1950s, however, she managed to get herself onto television and had become an overnight success again, but with the world talking about her and being a great celebrity that was able to pioneer the television to be one of the great mediums or one of the best mediums to show movies and even serials around the world. Lucille Ball had created her own television series um, during the birth of television in the United States. Her first uh, television series being I Love Lucy, which lasted from 1951 to 1957. And then more television series followed after th throughout the 1960s, the 1970s, as well as the 1980s. Television was the place Lucille Ball was an icon, and her uh, Lucy uh, character from I Love Lucy would have a husband, her have her own husband, become a sidekick while, uh, on the silver, on the small screen making them both two of the iconic couples on television and which will be a trend throughout um, later years and even decades with other television series uh, doing the same trend. Personal life and final years. Lucille Ball was married two times. Her first husband was a co-star of hers in various television and movies and even becoming a lover uh, behind the scenes and, behind, and whilst in Hollywood um, outside of the uh, small screen. His name was Desi Arnaz, and their relationship lasted from 1940 to 1960. His, her second husband was called Gary Morton, from their relationship lasted from 1961 to her death in 1989. She continued to act um, in her older age, with Hollywood giving her ver uh, um, various film roles, and even various television companies awarding her and giving her some television um, time. But um, even the awards were based on both her um, contributions of being a great star in both mediums of television and even film. And even having time to be awarded lifetime awards and even awards by uh, various uh, companies. She even had her own star of on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And even still winning more awards, being recognised by various companies such as the Kennedy Centre and even being recognised by very various presidents and people around the world. Her final film appearance, however, was The Stone Pillow in 1985, and then her last television appearance was in the TV series that she made herself, but actually lasted 13 episodes, which was called Life with Lucy in 1986. Legacy and Death Sadly, Lucille Ball passed away on the 26th of April 1989, at the age of 77, in Los Angeles, California. She was able to live to become a star on the television and even win uh, very, very awards. She became another national treasure of the United States as well. 
as the, her television career helped her become an icon in comedy. Her legacy lives on today as well, with most presidents who were able to watch her on television and films give her, giving her awards after her death, and even have the chance to keep an, um, her legacy alive by allowing other companies, and even various companies, keeping her name in, in relevation. In, revel um, in, in, in the modern day, with various contributions and even uh, her own activism in life. Her family have been able to promote her name and even her memorabilia based on her flagship television series, I Love Lucy, with most celebrities contributing and even having a chance to appear in the television series. Now it's classed as one of the best television series of all time on um, in America and even around the world. This would make Lucille one of the greatest TV stars of all time and even a legend in Hollywood as well as on television with her legacy never being outshone but able to be inspiring many people like Kathy Griffin and even, or Griffiths and even other people who were able to um, other actresses and actresses and you can see Amy Schumer is also seeing some com comedic um, similarity as well as Lucille Ball yet she is and always defined as one of the first comedic actresses to make it big on television and even becoming an icon herself thank you for watching and please subscribe if you haven't done so my name is Suki Cookie and um, thank you for watching